calendar. Hey, little gorgeous. Come here. Come say hello to everyone. Oh, what's this? Look. What's this? What's this? <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you very much for joining me today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Heather and for those of you that do, well, it's amazing to have you back. Today we are going to be actually unboxing the Pokemon Halloween Advent Calendar from October 2021. Now you may be asking yourself, well, hang on a second, Heather, we're a little bit away from October 2021. In fact, it is January 2022 right now. Well, due to the little thing that we're going through right now, the pandemic, unfortunately, there's been massive shortages and supply chain issues. I'm sure you've had it all before. And unfortunately, despite pre-ordering all of this stuff in September last year, I wasn't able to get my hands on the advent calendars until now. So this is probably gonna be more of like a retrospective review as opposed to <laughs> a preview of what you would have got. I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. So let's get straight into it. This is what the Halloween calendar looks like from the front. I won't show you the back because the figures are displayed and I don't want any spoilers. This calendar cost me £37 in total and inside there are eight figurines, five accessories with 13 doors in total. Quick math. <laughs> So this is very similar to the 2020 Christmas calendar in the sense that it has the two doors at the front which you open up. It's got some nice illustrations of the spooky Halloween Pokemon on the doors and then you've got the 13 doors on the inside. We'll crack on with door number one. It's a smaller door. I think this is probably gonna be a Pokemon figurine. It is! Oh, please. Oh no, I don't want to break it. Mimic you, please. It's trying to release you from your bonds. Oh. Oh, finally. I started collecting Pokemon cards last year and I wanted to share some interesting facts with you about these Pokemon and their respective appearances in the card game. Mimikyu has been featured on 14 different cards since it debuted and the rarest of these is actually a collaboration between the Pokemon Center and the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum and the card is inspired by the classic painting The Scream. Now on eBay currently there is a sealed version of this card selling for £3,500 and there's also an unsealed version slightly cheaper at 1500 door number two down here shall we see what we've got hey it's a little witchy eevee and much easier to get out <laughs> Eevee is a very popular Pokemon and has been featured on 57 different cards. One of the rarest was this card that was from the original Pokemon fan club point scheme and available for those members that collected and then redeemed 500 points. Currently, this card is being sold on eBay for around £4,075. I've just filmed a close up of a few of these figures to show them in more detail. I wanted to show you the paint marks on Eevee. Unfortunately, like last year, these seem to be quite common and it's actually quite a shame because they really impact the quality of the figures. I haven't tried to get the marks off, but as I assume they're made by the same paint used all over the figure, I'd be worried about taking off the paint underneath, also dependent on the removal process I used. So for now, they'll just have to stay on there. Number three is a bigger door. I think this might be our first cardboard accessory. I'm still a bit annoyed about the fact that you pay so much money for these advent calendars and you don't even get a figurine behind every single door. It was something that I thought that they might change this year but I guess not because the Christmas calendars are unfortunately the same also. Okay so it was a cardboard accessory. We've got ourselves a pumpkin. Door number four is so tiny. I would like to think that after just receiving the cardboard pumpkin, we would get a Pokemon, but I think this is another little cardboard bit. Oh, I was so wrong. It's a tiny little Litwick and it is so cute. Litwick has appeared on 13 different Pokemon cards. The rarest of its cards is this one. 
It was a card given out in random packs to participants in the 2019 Pokemon Card Gym Tournament in Japan and only for a very limited time. On eBay, there's one selling for around £59.35 and it has been graded at PSA 9. See if I can position it so you guys can actually see when I open this. Oh. <gasps> okay, we've got some cardboard sweeties. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. <gasps> Litten has been featured on 11 different cards since it debuted. Its rarest card was only available at the Pokemon Centers in Japan in April 2017 for a very limited time and in very limited quantity during a special theme deck promotion. This card is currently available on eBay for £31. Just underneath, number seven. Oh, opening it from the wrong side. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> it's a Zuba! Yay! Zuba has appeared on 22 different cards since it debuted in the Fossil Expansion Pack. And in fact, you can get a first edition of that card on eBay for £100 right now. Number eight is in the middle. It's another smallish one, but I got tricked last time. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a Pokemon or some cardboard thing behind here. This one opened from the bottom. So apologies for my fumbling hands. More cardboard, but it is some candy apples, which I actually love. I always have them at Halloween. Number nine is the biggest door, I think, on the calendar. Yeah, it is. I can't see there being a Pokemon behind here. Um, I'm more inclined to think it's an accessory. I'm trying to do this in a way so that you guys can see as I open it, but it's hard. Okay, it's it's a lamppost, guys. Try not to get too excited. <laughs> Back down here for number 10. Come on, Pokemon toy. <gasps> it's a Cubone. Cubone had its debut in the Jungle expansion set and since then has appeared on 19 different cards. Like Zubat, its original card is the most valued. £195 will get you a first edition of the card graded at PSA 9. Something to note here is that there are two Pokemon in this calendar, Mimikyu and Cubone, that were also in the 2020 Christmas calendar. There's actually a third figure as well from the 2020 calendar that appears in one of the 2021 Christmas calendars that I'll be unboxing in another video. I checked out the copyright stamps on the figures and it does show that they're clearly from the same batches as last year's. I do think it's a bit cheeky that they seem to be redistributing surplus figures from previous calendars rather than adding new Pokemon to keep it fresh. But on the bright side, at least it's not just going into landfill. Up in the corner for number 11. It's another big door, so I think cardboard. More pumpkins! Guys, we've got more pumpkins. We have come to the penultimate door. It is number 12. Let's hope for a figurine. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, it's Squirtle, the second best starter after the glorious Bulbasaur, of course. <laughs> Squirtle has appeared on 22 different cards since it debuted in the base set of the trading card game. For around £2,637.84, you can get one of these base set cards, a first edition with no rarity symbol, graded at a PSA 9. Door number 13. Unlucky for some. However, I think we might all be able to guess what Pokemon is hiding behind here. Come on, Peekapoo. Hey, there he is with his little pumpkin hat. As the mascot of the series, it's no surprise at all to see that Pikachu has been featured on 191 different cards since it debuted in the very first base set. There are many rare and valuable Pikachu cards. The one I want to talk about is the one selling for £20,000 on eBay currently. This card was the result of a competition where fans could submit their artwork and the winners would have that artwork turned into official Pokemon cards. 
The one currently selling on eBay was drawn by Sayaka Maruyama, and there was only 100 of these cards made, hence its very high value. Pikachu, unfortunately, also has some really obvious paint marks. It's such a dark colour against the yellow and orange, so it really stands out. It's actually such a shame, as this is such a unique figure. Right, let's break this down. Pros and cons. Pros of this advent calendar. It's Halloween themed. There are Pokemon inside of it. I love Halloween. I love Pokemon. Mash them together. What more could a girl ask for? However... I paid £37 for this advent calendar and I got eight figurines. 37 divided by eight is round 4 50 So essentially that works out to £4.50 per figurine, which if those figurines were on sale individually for that price, I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. But of course, you know, it's the novelty of them being, you know, Halloween themed in an advent calendar. I guess that's what you pay the price for, right? I do really like the fact that there are Pokemon in the advent calendar that don't generally get highlighted as much, like Zubat for example. I love the fact that the Pokemon have their little accessories which really makes them stand out from previous figurines that I've had. I think they're quite unique if I'm honest. However, the quality of the figurines are not that great. You saw the paint splodges and the marks that they had on them when you're paying around £4.50 for the individual figurine, you would expect them to be higher quality. That is the first of four advent calendars that I'm going to be reviewing. So if you did like this video and if you enjoy Pokemon advent calendars, please subscribe, turn on your notifications and you will be told when I have released those other videos. Also, let me know in the comments below, which was your favourite Pokemon that I pulled out of the advent calendar? And do you think that you would consider buying? the Halloween advent calendar for 2022. Liking the video would also mean the world to me, of course. Now guys, make sure you take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.